Hello world, I'm Brancliffe, and uh, yeah, here we are, um, just doing some heroics with the guild, and let me tell all y'all a story. I had a really uh, fun day today, and wow, this is going to be the first Brand Ramble I record where I'm not annoyed with people. What, what do you mean, let's loot? It's true, though. Um, <laughs> for context on that one, I just megaphoned something as a joke because one of my guildies uh, said it, and I thought, well, that's funny, I'm going to mega it. He basically said the reason Aether Sage has rock magic is because she can make the rocks ultra erect and hard because uh, she's so fine. And uh, I stole that joke and megaphoned it. So yeah, that's that that's here we are. that's where we are. VP main. I'm sorry for your loss. So um I had a fun day today. I um my sister and I decided to go um over to Seattle and uh we decided we were going to play some Pokemon Go and uh, hang around at the loser part of Seattle, which I'll, I'll talk about that in a sec. And uh, you might be thinking, but Rankliff isn't Pokemon dead? Well, um, that depends. See, Pokemon Go embodies everything that makes Washington, Washington. It is Japanese things, it is hipster, it is technology, and it is exercise. Those four things are what make Washington, Washington. And by extension, make Oregon, Washington, because Oregon is basically just Washington. But, uh, slightly more depressed, and many more ducks. But, yeah, alright, I'm sure all of you guys care about that. Uh, we got some Pokemon, it was fine. But, what was really cool is, she took me to Weeaboo Land, um, no, actually, uh, like, okay, so, there's, like, not really a Chinatown part of Seattle, I mean, that's kind of what we call it, but, like, there's just this part of Seattle, like, because Seattle has freaking everything, in case having Amazon there wasn't an indicator of that, and, um, like, they've got this foreign stuff with, like, all of the Asian things, so, you know, Asian food, Asian groceries, Asian, um, merchandise, things like that, for Asians and fans of them, and, um, the, the place she took me to, it was called, uh, oh, dear god, I, I, need, I need to look this up again, one sec, uh, I actually asked my sister this, uh, because I forgot what it was called, I've just, I've just been telling my friends that it's called Weeaboo Land, uh, Ki, Kinokuniya, and, um, she, she told me it's like the Barnes and Nobles, in uh, Japan, I don't know how much I believe that, but like, they had a lot of stuff there. It was really cool because they've got like, they've got lots of anime stuff, and there's like manime, and then there's a uh, weeaboo waifu garbage, and you know they've got like lots of just all in general cute stuff, like you know those lucky cat things, the ones that have the hand up and they're holding a gold coin and they're what Meowth is based on. They had one of those there. I was actually going to buy one of those, but um. No, I ended up not doing so because instead, what I found that what I really wanted was a pillow of one of the cats from Neko Atsume, which, um, if, if you're unfamiliar, I don't really know if I'd call it like Weeaboo stuff because it's kind of got mainstream appeal. Uh, Neko Atsume is a mobile game, uh, in which, well, I mean, I don't even really, I don't even know if it qualifies as a game if I may be completely honest. The idea is you got a backyard and you can put toys there. And then you put the toys there, and then you close the game, and then you open it up later, and then there's, like, cats hanging out at said toys, and it's it's really cute. And it looks like it's, like, hand-drawn with a pencil and paper and stuff. It's kind of great. Um, I'll put some screenshots in post that I can find that explain how cute the game is. And there's really, like, no gameplay to it, but it's just really cute, and, um, for some reason, I, uh... I plan on getting lots of Neko Atsumi merchandise, cause um, like, okay, th this is a little weird, and I, I think this is going to make some people, like, disassociate with my channel, cause they're thinking, like, oh god, Brand, you're such a weeaboo, but um, I, I kinda want my own personal look for my videos, cause like, you know, whenever I, um, whenever I'm recording videos that have me in real life, I either just put on my cosplay, or um, I put on a thick <laughs> scarf and a red jacket. But, like, I want something that's more, like, me, you know? So, um, on my Discord server, uh, user Akihiko-kun showed me the, uh, glorious wonders that is those shady Asian clothing websites that have really cute clothes, but also look really untrustworthy. And, uh, I, I started browsing them, and it turns out there's a lot of stuff there that's themed around cats, 
and like she showed me this cloak <laughs> that's cat themed. It's got like a hood and it's got the ears and stuff. And uh, I ordered that. I'll put a picture of that up. And uh, it, like I, I liked it and all, but then I found the Neko Atsume themes <laughs> ones, and I'm like, oh my god, I have to have this. And uh, I actually asked the server which uh, which one do you guys think I should get, and then I ended up getting both of them anyway. <laughs> There was also one based on uh, Amelia, or as I call her on my server, Emimia. But um, there was one based on Amelia from uh, ReZero Subaru Abuses His Life Insurance. And uh, I was thinking about getting it because I really liked how it looks. But uh, one, I'm not going to dress up as the best girl if I were to do that. I mean, if I wanted to dress up as something from ReZero, it would make more sense to dress up as, you know, a guy because I'm one of those, and so I decided to swerve on that. Um, I did really like how it looked though, but you know, I, I don't want to... I, I don't want to be the poser that dresses up um, with the clothes from something that I don't actually watch or interact with, although that's basically what I'm doing with my Vocaloid clothes, so... But I don't know, I guess I'm just a selective hypocrite? Oh, yeah, um... Unrelated. Uh, people, people in the guild chat are commenting on this recording right now, because um, I set up a voice channel in my Discord server where people can listen to me, but they can't actually talk. And the idea is, uh, I'll go on that voice channel when I'm recording things, so that they can comment on those things while I'm recording them. I don't know if this is something anybody actually plans, on, like, if anybody is interested enough in doing, but yeah, that's what we're rolling with. It could be cool. It might not. I don't know. Uh, you'll just have to be an eagle-eyed viewer and, like, pay attention in guild chat to see how that goes on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be buying cat clothing, and they should be here sometime between January 6th and January 14th, assuming that the shady Asian website is not so shady that they're gonna take my money and run off with it. And I hope it's not. Um, if any of you guys are wondering and you're, like, familiar with this kind of thing, it's, uh, AliExpress, and, uh, that, that's where I'm buying said cat clothing. But anyways, my sister took me to Weeaboo Land, and we were looking at all this stuff, and oh my god, there was just so much stuff. Like, the first floor was mostly just like a bookstore and tacky gifts place, where they had all kinds of like really generic things, and some of the really big mainstream things. Like, they had a they had a shelf with all the Studio Ghibli stuff, and by the way, uh, if you say Ghibli, uh, you need to be punched in the throat. But like, they had the Spirited Away stuff, they had the, um, they had the uh, Kiki's Delivery stuff. They, they had like stuff from every one of the Ghibli movies. And uh, by the way, if you're wondering which one is my favorite, um, I'd say Ponyo is my favorite, and The Secret World of Ariadne is my second. I know those are weird choices. Most people either forget that those exist, or they say that their favorites are um, My Neighbor Totoro and um, uh, Spirited Away, which, I mean, okay, I like Totoro, but um, Spirited Away, uh, not really my thing. I think it's because I don't, I don't like the, like, as gruesome Ghibli works. I, I don't know. And I know someone in the comments section is going to be like, when you don't watch anime. Well, I mean, I don't, but, um, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like even as a, even a person that doesn't watch anime should see those things because they're just so good. And, well, while I still don't consider myself like a big anime person, or even a small anime person, lately I've been watching, um, uh, Kirby right back at you because for some reason that's all on YouTube every single episode of it. I, and that's mostly just because I need something to watch. And um, yeah, it's, yes, there is a Kirby anime. It's glorious. And um, so someone's gonna be like, re four kids. But you know what? Four kids is also responsible for the Pokemon first anime intro. And uh, that song is legendary even if it's not good. So no matter how much you hate four kids, you gotta admit they've, 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 they've done some pretty great things. Although, uh, Mexican Meta Knight, I'm not sure if that is a great thing. Although, I think we can all agree that jelly-filled donuts are. Anyways, at the anime store, uh, we went up to the second floor, and that's where they had all, like, the merch. And, uh, it wasn't actually just anime, it was also, like, video games and stuff. I found the Splatoon art books, I found lots of Pokemon plushies, I found, you know, the Neko Atsume stuff that I bought. I should probably put a picture of, uh, the Neko Atsume pillow I put up, uh, yeah, uh, future me put that picture up. Also put up the selfie I took, because I did. Um, on my Discord server, there, there's like this little mini in-group within the server called Mr. Brancliffe's Small Crew. It's a parody of, uh, 
Mr. Wouter's uh, Dragon Servant, which is a parody of Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid, which, by the way, I did, I did see the Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid merchandise there, and I made incredibly repulsed and disgusted expressions and faces and noises at it because it's like, you're garbage! Make me a meme. Um... Uh... No. So, <laughs> yeah, for, okay, for some reason I am getting a lot of whispers today. I, like, okay, I, I do get whispers, or, like, random whispers sometimes, but it's nothing like this, and I think it's because, um, with third job coming around, all the servers, all the servers, all the channels are always on busy, so there's, like, lots of people on, and I guess a lot of them are just feel like whispering me, but, um, whom's did, whom's been sending them whispers? Uh, whom's did, whom's did, but, um, let's see, they had the garbage anime, they had the manime, yeah, okay, it was cool seeing all the JoJo works, and no, I'm, I'm not a JoJo reader viewer, but I know that I kind of wish I bought one of the JoJo things to give to people as a gift, because for some reason JoJo merchandise is really good, uh, gifts for memers. It was also cool because I, I found the, um, when I was looking at the garbage, I found, uh, I found the shelves with the, uh, Yuri on Ice, and the Love Live merchandise, and I was like, Hey sis, they've got the Yaoi on one side and the Yuri on the other side! And, and then we just, like, made lots of disgusted faces at both of them. My, <laughs> my sister and I are, like, so in sync when it comes to, um, Eastern entertainment. We, <laughs> although, uh, the kinds of anime she likes, um, she only likes things with killing in it, and I don't like these things in the first place, but yeah. Alright, uh, wow, um, I'm not even halfway done with this video, and we're already done with it. Uh, well dang, what do y'all want to do now? I'm still recording it! <laughs> um, someone mentioned Tokyo Ghoul. I did see the Tokyo Ghoul stuff there, I didn't take any pictures of it. Uh, mostly because I was thinking, like, do people actually still like this? I thought everybody was over this by now. Um, I don't know how many Kaneki fangirls are still around, because, you know, Diabol Gesper was released like two years ago. And yes, Kaneki would eat out girls. I'm glad you're answering the question I asked like a year ago in my Arahan videos. He probably ate out Toka. <sighs> Cease. I. <laughs> me, me making this um, audience room voice channel was such a. Good lord, there are seven people here! What are any of you doing? Oh, good lord, I, I should probably have, uh, I should have been looking at what the people in the text chat were talking about, because they're probably commenting on the video itself. Why is my name Ting Small Pink Roll Omu? Reading, afterwards, listening, listening, too bored. I, I don't know why any of y'all are, I, I mean, whatever. If, if you guys are entertained by me, good enough. I guess that's what really matters. I still need to talk about the fucking, whatever was, else was in the anime store. Um... There was Splatoon stuff. I was considering buying the Splatoon art book, not for me, but for um, some friends. I, I've got some really big Splatoon fans that I know that were friends with. Duh. Uh, no, I, I know them, but we're not friends. I know that like my wife is big on Splatoon. My best friend is big on Splatoon. Um, it isn't really my thing. I'm really bad at Splatoon because I'm really bad at shooters in general. And the fact that I'm so bad at shooters that I'm bad at a shooter about shooting the ground is really telling. Like, some people ask me, Rand, what other games do you like? I don't know, I can't play anything that isn't an MMORPG. I'm bad at clicking on people, and that's what shooters are. Brand, talk more about the small crew! <laughs> oh, God, I don't know what to say about that. Um, let's see, Pokemon stuff, uh, garbage. Oh yeah, the garbage! Um, I found the, uh, uh okay. I, I found the fake Grand Order merchandise. <laughs> I found the um, I found the I found the merchandise with uh, I I don't even remember what the show is called, but it's got uh, Kudo and Edia, and and they make out because that funds her life force or something. It's like, man, people think that Game Freak is starved for ideas. Have you seen the anime industry these days? Like. The fucking- yeah, okay, so, like, I said my sister and I were in sync when it comes to Eastern merchandise. For some reason, there's, um, for some reason in my family, whenever Christmas comes around, we do get each other gifts, but for some reason we always get each other joke gifts, 
Like, things that we know that we would hate, we give to each other for no reason. And uh, I need to put a picture of this in post. My sister got me the first book of the light novel of Is It Wrong to Pick Up Girls in a Dungeon? Because of course she did, and you know, like, I, I feel like I actually have to read this now, considering she, I, mean, I mean, she bought this for me, I probably should. I gotta go find out if Hestia is actually a good grill or not. And it, it's weird, like, I, I, I saw that she gave me this, so I opened up the book, and I'm like, uh, sis, do you know there are four pairs of boobs on the first page? And it's like, and, and also, two, one of those pairs of boobs is being groped, and I know somebody's gonna be like, Brandon, could you put pictures of that specifically? No, shut up. Um, yeah, so we went to the Weeb store. It was cool. And, um, let's see. After that, we, uh, we had some food. We went to Pho. Uh, you know, the best food, you know, to grace the planet Earth. We got egg rolls! I love egg rolls so much! They are one of my favorite foods, after all. I talked about that in, uh, one of the brand rambles that nobody actually watched because it wasn't about elsewhere. <laughs> um, let's see. We went to, uh, we went to this, um, God damn it. Uh, talk about the comic, talk about WoW, Damachi is good, bro. Talk about the fanfic, Hestia is bestia fanfic. Show my small crew doodle. Uh, small crew doodle, yeah, okay. So, um, one, one of the- God. I'll, okay, guys, I'm going to talk about the Discord server in another video, but for now, I will talk about this. Um, Mr. Brancliffe's small crew uh, got a drawing from one of the members of it. And uh, I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna put that on on, on the screen now. Uh, I think it's really cute. Uh, on the top. Oh gosh, actually, um, I should probably tell you guys uh, who these people are, cause uh, these are people who you could find in my comments section. So on the top is a uh, YouTube user Venom Strike. On the left is a uh, YouTube user Vena 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 Me Mak something. Uh, you know what, I'm- okay, the YouTube search section- um, YouTube comments section has a way where you can search people's comments. Let's see, how do I- yeah, Venev- Venevi Maruko, that is her. And, um, on the right is YouTube user- I don't actually know her YouTube username. But, um, it's- talk- talk about the age of consent in Japan! Fuck, um- Why am I even still recording my Elsa right now? We're just- we're just- oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. So I'm showing my Elsword. I got the new Zip mode idle, idle motion. I got the new idle motion. I mean, all y'all told me I should, so I did. Uh, funny story about it, actually. I was looking at the prices for it on the board, and it was like 800, 900 mil for most characters. But one of my guildies, Carmilla, she was actually selling um, the package to me at a discounted ka rate, 2700. And she sold it for me so cheap. It was 807 mil. She gave it to me for so cheap that it was actually cheaper to buy the entire package from her than to buy the idle motion on the board. Although, to be honest, I don't think I'm gonna wear the clothes. Ever. <laughs> I don't think I'm ever going to wear these clothes. I mean, I really just wanted the motion. I mean, like, I, I, I don't know. Like, I like pink, but something about this just isn't right. I will say the blue set, on the other hand, I do like it. I just don't like the motion. Why is it that the set with the good clothes has the bad motion and the set with the bad clothes has the good motion? Good lord, everybody's just requesting things for me to talk about. This is gonna be one of those like 50 minute brand rambles because of all y'all. Uh, more brand posting talk, my bullshit shiny encounter. Somebody on the server was um, picked up Pokemon Sun, and uh, every Pokemon game, because it could be someone's first Pokemon game, has to have that thing where it's like, okay, this is going to be the part where we show you how to catch Pokemon, because it's not like we live in a society where Pokemon is so ingrained within its culture that even people who don't play video games can know how to catch a fucking Pokemon. But, um, yeah, uh... When Professor Kakui was teaching him how to catch a Pokémon, he caught a shiny rock ruff. That hurts. I don't even remember what I was gonna talk- Oh yeah, okay, so there is this uh, store in Seattle at the uh, Weeaboo Land. It's called Pink Gorilla. You know, like Harambe, but Brancliffe colored. And um, it sells video games and video game accessories. Propane and propane accessories, but um... Yeah, I, I was just looking at all the stuff they had. They had so much stuff! Like, okay, okay, so I don't know if any of you guys are Pokemon fans, but I'd imagine that some of you are. They were selling the Pokewalker 
for 25 bucks. You know how much that costs on Amazon? 70. 70 dollars. I didn't get it because uh, the Poké Walker is compatible with a whole two video games, neither of which I'll ever play again. But I was thinking, like, man, it costs more than twice that online. And um, and then there was other stuff. They they had an NES Mini hooked up. Uh, they had some Mario Three playing. I only played one level because I knew if I if I play any more than one, I'm gonna be here all day. But it was pretty cool. If any of you guys are wondering, I played the second level of Grassland. I'm sure all of you care. They had all of, they had really old stuff too. Like they were selling NES games. They were selling um they were selling SNES games that are Japanese imported and keep in mind region locked. So I couldn't buy them even if I wanted. I mean, I could buy them, but I wouldn't be able to play them even if I wanted to. They had like old Game Boy games like I could have bought a Game Boy with Pokemon Red there, if I really wanted to, because, <laughs> you know, Pokemon Red was uh, really well programmed, right? Actually, um, they had copies of Pokemon Yellow, and they had little stickers on them that said that they redid the battery save packs, because, um, we're getting to a point in uh, gaming history where now the battery backup saves on NES and Game Boy games are starting to run out, which means you can't save. And not being able to save on a Pokemon game is a problem but they found a way to fix that so that's cool um i didn't end up buying anything there but they just had so many things i was actually considering getting matching keychains with my sister they had some kirby stuff i was thinking like i could get the waddle d and she could get the waddle do but we didn't end up doing it which by the way if any of you guys are excited uh kirby for switch what are we calling it kirby hero's heart kirby um, whatever it is, I want it. It's gonna be sick. They didn't have, they didn't have other Kirby Star Allies. Thank you. Um, they did not have the uh, Joy Cons, but they had the Joy Con skins, and it's like, why? Um, they had the Splatoon Joy Con skins. I'm not a big Splatoon person though, so swerve on that. I asked if they had extra Joy Cons. He said no, and then he said buy a Pro Controller, and then I said I already have one. And then we talked about how the Pro Controller battery life is dumb. I could use that thing for like 40 hours without having to charge it. And with the PlayStation controllers, you gotta like charge them after you play it for a few hours. Nintendo finally pulls through on the hardware market. No, 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 I'm joking. I, I love Nintendo's hardware. So, yeah, that, that was about it. Anyways, I should really shut up and close this video. Um, after we went to go eat, we went to the Weeaboo store, we went to the video game stuff, that was when I went home. It was actually really cool. My sister's like... <laughs> I'm like my sister's best friend now, it's weird. Like, we, we hang out, like, we don't act like we're siblings, we act like we're, like, friends, it's weird. So, it, it, it was like hanging out with, like, your squad. Except it wasn't my squad, it was my sister. I, I, I don't know if I'm making any sense here. Also, she paid for like everything. She paid for our pho. Uh, I went to the, we went to the Asian grocery store to buy all those like miscellaneous things and she paid for that too. Like, uh, I got the, I got giant Pocky sets. Uh, if any of you guys are wondering, if any of you guys want to play the Pocky game, no, 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 let's, uh, let's, let's not do that. Maybe. I, I mean, when, when I go to the big convention in, um, when I go to the big convention in the spring, and if I meet any of you guys there, I'm not going to offer to play the Pocky game with you. That, that, I, I was joking. I don't take that seriously. I hope, yes, yes, you know how many guys like you, that's gay. I am aware. I am really cute for the wrong audience. Oh, yeah, y'all can leave the party now. Go, go do the things that you do. You can just stop wasting your time in guild base. Where's the pajama set? Pajama party! Pajama party! Um. Yeah, I am. So, yeah, uh, Weeaboo Land is cool. And my sister is great. And, uh, yeah, that, that was the point of this brand ramble. Although I still gotta record some other videos! Gosh darn it, I... There, there's some videos I need to make about the Discord server, believe it or not. I didn't think I was ever going to get to that point, but no, no, I do. Your sister basically spoils you. Okay, okay, let, let's not get weird here. This isn't, um, fucking, what's it called? Uh, 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 Oremo? Is, that's, 
that that's about siblings. But no, oh, no that that was just the, that was the, just the first show I thought of that had to do with siblings. That wasn't Himoto Umaru-chan, which, by the way, um, I, I saw the merch for that as well, and I was like disgusted. Although I will admit, uh, normal-looking student uh, Umaru is very cute, but then when she gets her like weird midget-sized soda-drinking version, it's like, okay, get away from me. Yeah, Chibi. I mean, I can say Chibi, but I like I like to call it Putrid instead. Saw an arcade game with her as a fighter. What a t what a time to be alive. Then again, with a uh, Mugen, you can make anyone a fighting game character. Okay, um, I also gotta go talk about what I think about those third job looks, cause, um, like, okay, so I made the video that had all of the third job characters stuff, and, the, and that blew up, but, like, I started recording that video before we had the full body pictures, and, uh, I should probably talk about what I think about, like, the characters more than just what they look like in an awkward group photo that forgot Adam Rose, and only shows, like, everything from their necks up. I gotta go record. I mean, I guess since I have the audience room up, I may as well record that, but okay, the, the point is this video needs to stop, so uh, th thanks for listening to that. How long was this video? 26 minutes. <sighs> Alright, I'm Brancliffe. Goodbye, everyone.